San Diego County had been in the medium risk category since the end of May. A doctor we spoke with says the new BA5 variant is to blame for the spike in cases that pushed us into the high risk category on Thursday. Dr. Arvin Narula works at the San Diego Cardiac Center. Since vaccines don't work well against this new variant, he says masks are the next best thing to protect yourself. The new variant actually evades the immune system. Even if you have a vaccination or you've had COVID in the past, you know, this one is um, a little more uh, tricky to get under control. Last Thursday, the county moved into the CDC's high risk COVID community level. To calculate how that is determined, the CDC looks at a combination of three factors. New COVID admissions per 100,000 people over the past seven days, total new COVID cases per 100,000, and the percentage of inpatient beds occupied. To be in the high category, there have to be more than 200 new COVID cases and more than 10 new COVID admissions or 10% of inpatient beds occupied. Our latest numbers show the county had 383 new cases and 11 and a half new hospital admissions, pushing us into the high level. As a result, starting Monday, indoor masking will be required at all San Diego Unified School Districts and offices. This applies to students and staff in summer school programs. For Sweetwater Union High School District, masks will be strongly recommended for everyone indoors when school starts Wednesday. Unvaccinated staff must wear a mask when in the presence of others. It's prevention. Prevention is really way more effective than, than you know, treatment after the fact. Dr. Narula says the rises in cases we've seen seems to be following a trend. COVID cases at the end of the summer, you know, early fall kind of getting worse and then it gets worse in the, the winter time and then usually January and February are the worst. Masks will also be required at military installations in the San Diego region. Naval Base Coronado and Naval Base San Diego posted notices on their Facebook pages stating mask mandates will take effect on Monday. The county doesn't currently have a mask mandate. However, it strongly encourages them following California Department of Health guidance. Jasner Ramirez, CBS 8.